It is night in Kimba's kingdom. But uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. For even as a mother sleeps with one ear open to the sounds of her child, so too is Kimba ever alert to threatening danger. Huh? How? Uh, am I dreaming? Or do I hear something that sounds like thunder? But the sun's just coming up. There's no storm. Hmm. I do hear something. I'd better find out what it is. I would say from the smell of their antelopes. Hmm. Pretty close. Bucky, the column was as wide as from Bucky clear over to here. Mm, no, it was even wider. There were so many, I was stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, but it's terrifying. Oh, Polly, a few antelopes are nothing to worry about. But our farm is something to worry about, especially if they ruin it. My relatives, however distant, are too polite to ever want to ruin our farm. Hmm. All the same, you'd better check the farm to see if it's all right. Dental baboon, do you doubt my word? Very well, I'll be glad to prove that it's safe. Oh! They're smashing our cabbages! You're ruining our rutabagas! They're trampling on our turnips! Go away! Ooh, no, you're making me angry! Of 
antelopes, are you? I'm ashamed to admit we're related. Oh, no! Stop trampling on our turnips! Oh, you want to fight, do you? All right, take that, and that, and that! Oh, this is the end! Where'd you come from? Calm down, Bucky. It's too late. The farm's been ruined. Ruined? Oh, no, it can't be. But... Oh. Oh. It is. Ruined. It's all your fault. You said the farm would be safe because they were your relatives. And after all the hard work we had to make this farm. Sorry, I tried my best. Oh, so you tried your best. Oh, I believe you, Bucky. The trouble is you're just too stupid. Oh, and you're my friend. Hmm. It's true, we are friends. And as your friend, I should tell you what I think. You're a stupid, brainless gazelle. And besides, you oh, haven't got enough brains so to come in out of the rain. Yes, sir. Off. Stop this bickering, both of you. We've got to get busy and help clean up this mess. This seems to be Bucky's fault. Let him clean it up by himself. That's right. Why should we? I'm glad you're all smart enough to agree with me. Very well. I'll get the antelopes themselves to come back and do it. Hmm. There he goes again. What'll we do? Let him go. I wonder if Methuselah would be able to help. Oh? Uh -huh. He might know where all those antelopes come from and where they're going. So you want to know about the antelope herd? That's right, Methuselah. All right, Kimba, I'll tell you. Twenty years ago, a large herd of antelopes passed this way the same as these are doing. Why they came together or where they were headed for, no one ever knew. But the fact remains that soon the savannah was filled with hundreds and hundreds of antelope. The herd kept getting larger and larger as each of the families had more young'uns. And then something happened as if under a kind of a spell they all started moving south. Suddenly, they began to run, running wild. Nothing could stop them. And when they came to the edge of a huge lake, they went right on in. Every single antelope in the giant herd. And that was the last anyone ever saw of them. Tell me, Methuselah, do you think the same thing will happen to this herd? Perhaps they will and perhaps they won't. But you know yourself, whenever any critters start running wild, there's no reasoning with them. I think it's some kind of brain fever and it's best to just stay out of their way. But what about Bucky? He's gone to try and talk to them. Uh, it's too bad for Bucky then. Excuse me, I gotta take a nap. It's too hot to think anymore. <laughs> Poor Bucky. I'd better go get him before he gets hurt. Wait up, Kimba. This ride's on me. Thanks, Boss Rhino. This is swell. <laughs> Kim, 
at the mouth. That's not normal. What does it mean? That must mean they're wild. We've got to keep them from stampeding. Hang on, Bucky. Keep your courage up. What do we do? we got to save Bucky without causing a stampede. Maybe he could wait until they pass. That's impossible. We never last. Huh? What's this? Oh, it's the mole. Of course. That gives me a great idea. Thanks, but we weren't successful. Huh? You got Bucky out, but the antelopes are stampeding. They're running wild. <sighs> Suddenly, they began to run. Running wild, nothing could stop them. And when they came to the edge of a huge lake, they went right on in. And that was the last anyone ever saw of them. Now this herd is running wild and heading for the lake. They don't stop. What's the matter with Kimba? I don't know. I've never seen him do that. Kimba, is this the way for the son of Caesar to act? Go away! Leave me alone! Kimbo, listen! I don't want to listen! Poor Kimbo, something must have been a terrible shock. Hey! Why'd you kick my father's hide? To put an end to this nonsense! Huh? Now it's time you snapped out of this and stopped behaving like such a baby! You're mighty bold. Yes, Kimba, I'm being bold because I respect the memory of your father, whose heart would break if he saw his son being such a coward. Why aren't you out there trying to save those antelopes, huh? Because we went to enough trouble just to save Bucky. And besides, it wouldn't do any good. So there. He said so. Ow, 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 ow! You can't do that! You proved you can beat a friend, but are you strong enough to help others? Huh? You know, all your efforts may be for nothing, but at least you'll know you tried. And that's the important part, Kimba, to know you've done everything you can to help. Is that what my father would have done? What do you think, Kimba? Mm. I know. Thank you, Daniel. I want something to eat to get my strength back. Well, Kimba, what would you like? It doesn't matter, but I'm in a big hurry. Hmm, that was good. How about...
out some milk. Thanks. Now that I'm off. Kimba rounds up the strongest animals of his kingdom, and off they go, trying to get ahead of the long, long column of crazed and frightened antelopes. It's sheer exhaustion, but somehow the herd seems to be slowing down. If only there weren't so many pushing on, perhaps they could be encouraged to stop and rest and return to more normal behavior. Kimba's hopes to save the herd are rising, but then suddenly... Without warning, a part of the mountain gives way and crashes down. Panic seizes the antelopes, and the stampede is on as they really start running wild. idea, Kimba, to block off the canyon.
their way blocked by the new wall, the rest of the panic-stricken antelopes change direction and dash away from the lake toward safety. they hadn't started running wild, we might have been able to save them all. But, Kimber, you have to look at it this way. If it hadn't been for you, all of them would have been lost. As it is, there's just a few. Just a very few. They're going to learn how to harvest crops. You've got to do it right. Why don't you show them how to do it, Bucky, since you're one of the best harvesters we have on our farm? Of course, I'll be happy to oblige. Now you get your horns under them and I'll you. Now, as you can all plainly see, it's a... Mm -hmm. As you can plainly see, that was not the way to do it. <laughs> Rather like this. Then you move aside, see? Now I'll do it right. See?